Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyler here and welcome to Thai Made Adventures. Okay. I just got loaded up on some crabs. So I'll put a little footage in here of how I get my crabs. Best bait for sheep's head, red drum, black drum, all that guys. Got to get them crabs if you want to catch them fish. It's a secret, I'm telling you. So I'm going to show you guys that and we're going to get to fishing. In this video, I am going to walk you through exactly how to find mud crabs for bait. First thing you're going to need to do is find you a location that has some rocks, some structure that is exposed above the water. You do not want it to be underwater. Typically during low tide is going to be your best time uh, to get this so the water level is not so high. And you do not have to go to the same location that I'm at in this video. You can find this anywhere. I actually found this spot. This is the first time going here. Go on to Google Earth in the location you plan on fishing and just start looking around. Look around on Google Earth until you find some rocks that look like they might be exposed and go over there and check it out. That's the best way you can do it. You just got to get out there and explore your area. And once you find your location, that you are going to be looking for these crabs go out there and just start flipping these rocks as i am doing here uh, once you start flipping the rocks over you'll just start seeing crabs they'll be up underneath them hiding sometimes they'll be up on the rock in between the, the clams and oysters i definitely would recommend wearing gloves as these rocks will probably cut you uh, you don't want that happen you don't want to make a trip to the hospital not fun um, and always, always, always make sure, guys, that you are putting the rocks back in place. Flip them back over. Do not destroy this ecosystem. You need to put them back where you found them. So that way we can continue to find these crabs in this location. And all you really need for this is a bucket or something to put your crabs in once you start finding them. And another thing you do need to make sure once you start finding some crabs... Uh, you have stone crabs and then you have mud crabs. They look very similar. You need to make sure you know the difference between the two. The easiest way I have found to tell the difference between the two is a stone crab will have uh, little stripes on their legs and a mud crab does not. They just are regular straight colored legs. Uh, stone crabs definitely have some stripes on the legs that you can see. Uh, stone crabs are they have a legal size limit that need to be pretty big, much bigger than the ones we are looking for to use for bait. So you need to make sure you're keeping mud crabs. Stone crabs are illegal to keep. Now that you know how to find these mud crabs on your own, it's time to get out there, go find some so we can go fishing. And I have got quite a few here now, probably got 30 or 40 of them in there. So I think I'm pretty good for the day. So we're gonna get out there guys, hit us a little spot where there's some structure and see if we can get us some sheep's head. All right guys, we are <clears throat> at our first spot here. And I'm gonna put my first crab on, so that's how I like to do them. I like to break one claw off, and then got a little hole right here, right in where that claw was. Put your hook in there, and then go up through the back, just like that. That's how I like to do them. And we are over here at this little rock wall I found. We got a lot of structure right here. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good spot. I seen a few fish swim by when I was walking down. So I know I tried to come up here to clear water today to do some some fishing, hoping the red tide wasn't here, but it's fishing still hard here, man. No red tide. They don't got red tide. The water's clean. It's good here. Just couldn't catch the fish. And that's part of fishing. 
So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. It helps me out. And I will see you guys on the next Time Made Adventures.